Okay, so here I have an 80 millimeter uh, Japanese plane blade. This measures 3 and 3 sixteenths uh, across the width. So it's a very wide um, plane blade. It's about the widest plane blade that we can get into the Sharpscape. And you'll notice that it's very thick here and thin here. So it, it has a taper has a taper going down and this side is actually slightly curved so it's beautiful heavy you know freight train of a of a plane blade now I'm going to take the sharpscape and I'm going to put the blade in the sharpscape and just kind of check to see if there is enough um, tilt I want to see if there's enough tilt here to compensate for that wedge shape. So the tilt, the amount of tilt. I think I need to increase the tilt just a little bit. So I'm going to take and put an Allen wrench in here and slide it right through and into the bottom of the hold down plate where the retaining screw goes up into the bottom of the head screw and I'm just going to loosen that about half a turn to begin with and that will increase, see it increase the the tilt quite a bit and I think that's probably enough so I'll put the blade in here and let's see a little more. There we go. And let's just see, is that going to, oh, that way, good. We got plenty of tilt. All right. So now I'm going to put the sharp skate up high and slide it down just a little bit, right down there. So I'm holding the blade and slide the sharp skate down just a little bit. Until it hits everything solid and crank it up and now I will tighten it with the Allen. And I'm going to put some crank on it. I'm going to really crank right down on it. it. It's got some good crank on it now. and it is not going anywhere. It is rock solid in there. Okay, so let's just check and feels like it's going to roll right. And we'll put some water up there and just really get it nice and wet. And then put it right down on the stone. I'm I'm Putting my, my concentration and weight and pressure of my fingers all out on the um, stone. I'm really trying to um, unload the wheels. So I just want the wheels to kind of go along for the ride. And especially with something this big, you know, where you've got a huge bevel like this can see it's it's hitting very flat it's hitting right along the edge it's going to be a little while before we get a burr out of something this big but it's um, getting really good contact Get a little more water up there. Keep the stone really wet. Don't let the slurry uh, build up and get thick. You really don't want a thick slurry. It's not going to help you sharpen. Um, you want to wash away the slurry and get good contact with the stone. Okay, that's 
working good. Yeah, we're getting nice contact from here down to here. All the way, we're getting corner to corner contact. It's still a little, you know, looks like the pass bevel was a little bit rounded, probably from doing it by hand. And the new bevel is much square. And I am getting a burr. Boy, I can feel it already. I'm getting a nice strong burr all the way along. So just uh, keep going. And to cut the burr off, just put the fine polished stone up here, put some water on it, and flip the plane over, and cut that burr off. Probably need to flatten this stone a little bit more. Let's do that. Yeah, look at that. Flattens right out. Okay. Now we'll cut that burr off again. Okay, flip it over. Yeah, that's much better. It's contacted much better. Let's cut the burr off. And then we'll flip it over on the polished stone. That's a big jump. I, I probably shouldn't go from 500 all the way to 16,000. But it is interesting to try it and just kind of see what happens. To where it's hitting much better. So yeah, it's hitting right across the the edge from here to here. 